In this video, we're going to talk about OBS remote control and how to get Moblin to be able to control your OBS um, without port forwarding, without um, being worried about behind a CG NAT or a double NAT situation. We're going to use um, the remote control relay, the OBS relay for this. And this is how you set it up. On your Mac or Windows machine, you want to go to your docs. You want to come down to custom browser docs. And for the name of the doc, let's give it a name of remote control relay so that we know that it's a relay for OBS. And the web page or the URL, I'm going to copy and paste it in as well. But I'm going to put in the in the comments or the description below so that you guys can get to it. I'm going to hit close and our window pops up. A couple of things to note. This window needs to be up and it will automatically launch when you open OBS from this point on. The information down here should be kept private. You should not share it or show it to anybody because if, you, if somebody has it, they have the ability to get into your OBS and control it remotely. The first thing we notice is that it's connected to server, but is looking for the connecting to OBS on this computer. So it's connecting to the server in the cloud. Now we need to connect it to OBS. So let's go ahead and go to tools, come down to web socket, and we're going to turn it on. Enable web server, right? Web socket server. Once we turn it on, give a moment, uh, this should go green, and then you should have some kind of uh, web socket session that opens up down here. While we're here, we want to grab our uh, the WebSocket password as well. So right here, we want to be able to get that. So we go to our we want to go to our uh, show contact info, and we want to grab this. So we're going to copy that off. We're going to put it very very. We're going to paste it somewhere else, all right? So that we can get to it later. Um, after I hit that apply button, which I forgot initially, you can see that's connected. So both of them are green and we're good to go. The other thing that you'll need if you're using Moblin, you'll need this URL. If you're using uh, OBS Blade, you'll need one of the two. Uh, the top one is if you're making a new um, uh, connection. The one on the bottom is if you're editing a connection. So the directions are very clear here, where you, what you do. If you're adding a new one, where you go. And right here is how to uh, edit a, a previous connection that you want to now use this uh, remote relay to get into. All right. So what we want to do is we want to use the Moblin URL. We're going to copy it. Now there is, it might work for you. The copy button does not work for me. So when I copy and paste it, I don't get what's in here. So again, this is something that you don't want to show people. And let's see how we can connect Moblin to our OBS. With the information that we have, we literally just have to plug it in. We go into our settings, we go to stream, we go to the stream that we want to control, which is right now the PC. We want to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says OBS remote control. In here, we're going to plug in that URL that we copied from uh, the OBS relay. So let me go ahead and copy that. Below it, we have the password. This is the OBS WebSocket password with that QR code, right? So let's go ahead and copy that. Maybe I didn't get it. There we go. There are some cool things in here that you can do. Uh, just a word of caution. This part where it auto uh, switches between BRB because you have low bit rate. This feature is not is really not meant for uh, phone side. It's meant for when you're sending the phone SRTLA stream to your Moblin on your desktop, where it can detect that the 
the the video coming in is low bit rate or it's no uh, there's no feed and then it switches on that point it's really not meant for the phone because if you don't have data because your video is not sending you won't be able to control obs right you won't be able to switch the scenes and it does mention that down here so that's what this is for but there is something pretty cool down here at bottom Right here where it says source name, we're going to change this. Um, this was in there from before when I was playing with it. My current scene for when the video comes in and I want to be able to show it is live. So I'm going to put it in live and it's case sensitive. So you want to make sure that is all lowercase or uppercase. I'll show you what that does in a sec. So I think that's it. All the other stuff you can play with. You want to make sure you turn it on so that it can connect, right? And then fingers crossed. If I press the OBS and the quick actions, it should come up. I can start stream. I can start recording, right? I have a preview of what's going on as well. And because I put in that live scene, starting soon, live, BRB, uh, privacy, I think it was called main. I can refresh it. So I think I messed that up. It's called main. Live is the actual scene. The source is main. So let me go and change that real quick. Let me go and change that. Because we want to be able to refresh it. That's a very useful feature. Let's change it. So I'm going to my gear again, going into streams, going into PC, scroll all the way down. And down here, I'm gonna change this from live to main, all lowercase. And that should do it. So what will happen is when I'm controlling OBS, I can do the start stream, start recording. I can see a preview to make sure that my feed's coming through. So I'll show you if I turn off my mic, my mic symbol goes off, the stream picks it up, and then eventually my preview will pick it up as well. So if I mute it again, you can see how that, uh, it refreshes right now if somebody's telling you on stream that oh your audio is not synced up oh you're you're you know it, it's out of sync it's not sounding right you can say fix main source what this will do is it'll refresh if you watch obs right now when i press it it will refresh your source and it refreshes it any buffering issues any kind of audio desync issues should fix itself so that's a that's a powerful feature. And normally that's something that, you know, IRL streamers do on a secondary phone or a secondary device. You can do many of those things now here. You can mute, right? You can change scenes manually if you want. BRB, privacy, starting soon. Here's my starting soon screen. Here's the BRB. Yeah. So that's it. That's how you set it up. And in and it's simple. You don't have to install ex extra software. You don't have to do anything extra. It just works.